The kicker, Tyra Bass, has us ready to start. Off we go from downtown Indianapolis. On the return, this is down. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Colts offense going to take the field here for the first time. They'll be let out by the memory. Still go. Former Super Bowl MVP, Comeback Player of the Year in 2023, it's Joe Flacco. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, and then become a runner. In danger of an opening three and out, they face third and ten. Here's Flacco to throw. He's got his man, that's down. They get an even 20 on that one. First down, Indianapolis. Throwing with anticipation, and that only really requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Flacco. He's got his tight end Branson. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. On the ground for the first time. Here comes Jonathan Taylor. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Set up to throw. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So that'll bring up fourth down. That'll bring on Rigoberto Sanchez to punt. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. So out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen. Year seven already with Buffalo. Last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. There's a handful of guys throughout the league, Mike, at the quarterback position that single-handedly are worth the price of admission, and he's certainly one of them. He can make every throw on the field look routine. And while that gets the majority of the attention, it's the athleticism. It's the toughness as a runner. Frankly, just not a lot of guys at the quarterback position possess it. Not to mention, at all times, he's one of the biggest guys on the field. If he's under center, chances are you're going to be in the competition to compete for a championship every year. 
Here's a second and nine. They run with the third-year man. It's James Cook. And that one set down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. And they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no game. They need the 24-yard line as they come up for third down. He gets this complete to Shakir. And he's going to take this all the way to the house. 85 yards. Touchdown, Buffalo. Third down. My focus, Greg, was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown. Tyler Bass now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bills will take a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. On the return, this is down. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. First and ten. On first down, they'll start with Taylor. It's a gain of 16, and very quickly, a first down. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. On first down, they'll stay with Taylor on the ground. He'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 45. Here's second and nine. They'll go again here with Taylor. And he'll get this ahead. Game of about four, and it leads to third down. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there making things difficult defensively it'll set up a fourth down i think as the offense comes to the sideline now the quarterback and his wide receivers need to get together and say hey guys what are you seeing out there how can we find some open targets because on that last down there was nowhere to go with the ball oh not the greatest punt there this is going to hit and go out of bounds They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll start on the ground with Cook. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. 
keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. A run, this is Gilliam. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Here's Allen to throw. For the perimeter, it's Cooper. A game there of 11. Good for a Bills first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Motion the slot man left. On first and ten, it's Allen. Back to the left side and taken in by Coleman. Here's second and six. the shotgun. It's Allen. He'll be hit as he throws this time. And it's going to fall incomplete. He might be fortunate just to avoid the sack. And it'll set up a third down. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it. Probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. What a miscommunication there. And that brings up third down. It just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass. On fourth down, the Bills send out the veteran Sam Martin to punt. Josh Downs set to return for the Colts. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Throwing, Flacco. He's got a receiver. That's Michael Pittman. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Little three tight ends here on first and ten. On the handoff, running left. That's Taylor. And he'll get back to midfield, so no gain on that one. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. To the tight end. We spent so much time talking about arm strength, and while that certainly has a place in the conversation, look at the touch of this ball, Mike. It's a deep corner out. This ball needs to have the right pace, the right trajectory to not only get it over the second level defenders, but get that ball down into the hands of his target. He makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. Now Flacco. He's got it at the seven. And he'll be taken down. 
Mike, you've heard me say a thousand times, the easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal, but either way, I'm coming away with points. looking to throw it for the touchdown couldn't find anything so Grady takes care of business himself using his legs for the touchdown well it was clear early on Mike that this defense was expecting the pass and after matching all the receivers in the end zone this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line Matt Gay on for the extra point it's up and through. And the Colts will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Johnson now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's first and 10. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They'll run the draw with Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down. He'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. In motion, Shakir. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and now you can't wait for the next ball to be thrown away. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and... Even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. On third down, it's Allen. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Task now a really tough one. Third and very long. From the gun, it's Allen. He'll find his running back hook. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Yeah! And a 
be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. It's Taylor. And it'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. They go right back to Taylor. Finds room inside the 40. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. Here's Flacco. That one complete to Pierce. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Going to try to pick up the first down with his own lead. The advantage to this play call, Mike, is as an offense, you now can account for one extra defensive player. In this case, it's the quarterback reading the end. He goes after the running back. He pulls it, keeps it himself. Picks up the first down. Now, faking the give. And that's incomplete. They couldn't connect. And that's how this first quarter will come to an end. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Paris Evans on the scoreboard. We'll come back to Indianapolis in a moment. <laughs> Try again, it's second and ten. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Nowhere to go, he's going to be taken down. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or back side. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, it leads to a sack. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. To throw is Flacco. Just really finding his rhythm, mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Gay to add the PAT.
He knocks it through. And the Colts will move out to a 14-7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away we'll start at the four he'll work his way across the 25 yard line So they come to the line for first down and 10. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. He'll push forward for about a yard. That's EJ Speed getting in there to make the tackle. again it's cut and that'll go for a gain of about four Penny Moore there to make the play here now third and five from the gun Gajan He's going to air this one out looking for Cooper. Well, that's a good break in news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. Here's Flacco to throw. That's the tight end, Moelle Cox. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Flacco to throw. The second down throw is incomplete. Here's a third down and four. Flacco. And that is incomplete. Let's give credit to that pass rush for making their presence felt. And although it didn't result in a sack, it's the disruption of the timing that's just enough to force that incompletion. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez now as he's up to punt for Indianapolis. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Gonna give it to Cook. And he'll get forward for about a yard. And TJ Speed getting in there to make the tackle.
They go play action now. Here's Atwood. Field. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense. Just turned out to be a better throw. Now Allen on first down. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Allen. The reception belongs to Matt Pollard. He's taken down just shy of the 10. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They've got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. Allen going to throw again. That's to the left side. Taken in by Coleman. And he's in. Keon Coleman, touchdown, Bills. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Now Baz to tack on the extra point. It's up and good. And the Bills will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square. 14 apiece. The score as this one's away. Here's Bull on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Set to go now on first and ten. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Great job here by the defense, making sure that they have one defender responsible for the running back and one responsible for the quarterback. In this case, they decide to give it to the back. He's taken down for a loss. They'll look to throw. Looking middle, and he's got downs. And he'll be taken down after a game of nine, and third down, come up. fourth down I know it fell for an incompletion but pretty impressive he was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has a fair catch signal and they'll have it just outside their own 20 
from their own 23. They'll begin first and 10. On play action, Allen. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Come to the line now on second and two. Cooper going in motion. A run up the middle with Cook. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. left on first and ten it's Allen that's complete to Coleman here's second and three to go Second down. Cook. And he'll get up beyond the 40 to the 41 yard line. Zaire Franklin that time. There for the tackle. Here's third and two. Allen going to give this to Davis. He'll convert, picking up the first down at the 46-yard line. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Cooper going in motion. From the shotgun, it's Allen. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. To the ground. It's incomplete. They don't end up winning this game, Mike. They're going to look back on that missed throw as being really the biggest reason why. They're just able to connect on that play. Not only is it a big play, but I think they find themselves with an opportunity for a walk-off touchdown. Allen to throw. That's caught left side by Cooper. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Forcing third down. Decided 
who played offense and who played defense. The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. So first and ten now. They'll start from the 22. In motion comes Pittman. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now Flacco. That's complete. Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. And five. He'll look to throw. He's got his man. That's down. And a big strike for good yardage there, all the way up to midfield. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. He'll take a deep shot for down. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's Flacco. Coming open is Pierce. It's on target. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. Timeout, Indianapolis. That is their second. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Back to throw. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. He's into space past the 25. And he will score. Calvin Taylor. Touchdown, Colts. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg, that was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice, but it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. Now Gay for the extra point.
He gets it to go. And the Colts have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. for first and ten. From the gun, Dallin. Looking downfield for Coleman. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. First down, it's Allen. They'll set up the screen for Cook. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. From the gun, Josh Allen. Had a quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Every team has those vertical shots, Mike. They're on the call sheet, and they feel like they can get behind the defense. I think that was one of them, and just couldn't quite connect downfield because he had pretty good separation. On third down, it's Allen. The Bills going to use their final timeout here, and it'll come with 15 seconds to play in this first half. These two teams separated by a touchdown. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the veteran quarterback, the ageless one, Joe Flacco. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful 
from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. First and ten. And that is it. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. The tight end Kincaid in motion. That Allen to throw on second down. He'll find his running back hook. They'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. Now Allen on first down. Over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. The run out of the gun with Cup. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Third and long. Here's Allen. And the rock gets there. He'll be tracked down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection. How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. The Bills bringing on their punching you. He's on for the fifth time this afternoon. Not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Here's first and ten. The throw is Flacco. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. They'll work the middle here with Taylor. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. In trouble. Down he goes. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack.
They'll toss this right side to Taylor. He'll pop his head for about four, but it will set up third down. Flacco. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. The Colts about set to punt. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. First down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's a handoff to Cook. Cook for the first down and much more. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. That's a short pick up to about the 47. That's Laiatu Latu, the rookie out of UCLA, in there on the spot. Second down and eight. Now it's Allen. touchdowns for him now on the afternoon well that was a pretty easy touchdown he was wide open Greg easy chance to close the deal and they do with a touchdown and Mike it just appears to me that's just a breakdown defensively you can't allow a receiver to not only be so open it's an easy pitch and catch but then to have the space to operate after the catch to finish that one off in the end zone extra point try by Bass He's got it. And the Bills will even the score. It's now 21 all. to say, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Yeah. 
On first down, they'll start with Taylor. And he'll get forward for a couple. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. Here's Flacco to throw. Oh, they're on him in the flash, and he's lost the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get strip sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and we'll see if they can dodge this bullet. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Punt team out, ready to send this one away. a nice job of getting to him making sure that return was not going anywhere the Bills offense and Josh Allen headed back onto the field first and ten now from the 36 start on the ground with Kirk. And he'll manage to work this forward to the 37. That's Laiatu Latu, the rookie out of UCLA in there on the stop. Here's second and nine. In motion, Shakir. From the shotgun, it's Allen. On a throw here, right side, falls incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate. An opportunity for a big shot, you end up falling short. Third down, it's Josh Allen. And that is incomplete. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred, and ends it up being a wasted down. Special teams on the field, ready for this punt. catch is taken and is just inside the 20 yard line so they come to the line for first down and 10 they'll start this on the ground it's Taylor and this will gain a couple of yards up to the 22-yard line. And this one is caught by Pierce. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Now a third and two. He chooses to keep it on his own read. He is going to have a coach first down. Won't be by much. He needed three. He got three. But the mark says first down. You know, Mike, 
early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. Flacco to throw. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Jonathan Taylor, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. Throwing, Flacco. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. there but not on the same page with his target that's incomplete and that sideline just cannot believe their guy did not come down with that play i mean that's as easy as it gets i frankly don't blame i mean that's a play at this level you just have to make your teammates are dependent on a little short pass here caught by his tight end and a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Now Flacco. And that is incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts will take a 24-21 lead. Job number one on this drive find a way to get the lead they of course would have loved to score a touchdown Mike but three points here that's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves him out in front both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away this field in at about the nine. Terrific return. He's taken down to shy of midfield. Cooper going in motion. On first and ten, it's Allen. A quick slash into the hands of Cooper. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They run out of the gun. It's Cook. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. Zaire Franklin that time. There for the tackle. Here's
here's a second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That's caught inside by Cooper. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Allen to throw. That's to the left side. Taken in by Coleman. He'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got it at the seven. He is in. Dalton Kincaid. Touchdown, Bills. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is, in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often, these quarterbacks throw their guy open they anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be that's exactly the reason this play worked out here mike and he's able to connect here for a big touchdown pass now for the extra point he's got it and the bills have taken a four point advantage So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, this is down. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Here's Flacco. He'll look deep for Pittman. And this will be incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman with that one. And it'll bring up second down. I had a rule, Mike, when I was playing that if the ball hit either of my hands, it was a drop. You don't get paid in the NFL to make the easy ones. You get paid in the NFL to make them all. And I think that's a catch he's got to come down with. That one complete to Pierce. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. They'll stick to the ground. Colts about to kick this one away. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at 
their own 20-yard line. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. From the gun, Josh Allen. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Play action, Allen. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Slot man in motion right. On third down, it's Allen. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards, and most importantly, a first down. Here you are at the end of the game. You need a stop. You find yourself trailing. You have everybody covered, and the quarterback gets loose. Those are the plays that just kill a defensive coordinator. You're about to force a punt, about to get the ball back to your offense. Give credit to the quarterback. He made a play when they needed it. as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. They'll run with Cook. And he works past the 40, taken down after a gain of seven. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. Allen on third down. He's going to air this one out looking for Cooper. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. When he continues to play at this level, Mike, it just makes this team so hard to beat. It's the combination of leading both long, sustained drives and the being able to strike in bunches. It puts so much pressure on these defenses, and with the way today's game is gone, it doesn't look like he has any plans on slowing down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. And they are Defense. Good surge, drops him back. Let's put it with the nine-yard line. This defense knows the importance of this drive. They have to keep this game at one possession. That's a great start there on first down. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. To the end zone now, but it is incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike. I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. This is the eighth play of this drive, and it's third and goal. In motion, Shakir. On third and goal, here's Allen. To the end zone, Dalton Opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. So now it's Tyler Bass on in a big spot. This to stretch the lead to a touchdown. And this one right down the middle. It's good. A big three points as they extend their fourth quarter lead.
And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. On the return, this is Downs. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run. Defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Flacco. He'll get that one to Taylor. Complete. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. To throw is Flacco. And that is incomplete. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. And now the punting unit will come up. They'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. From the 35, it's first and 10. to throw a short throw caught by Kincaid and no chance to turn and go that one good for just a couple look him up on a second down and eight Allen will throw to Kincaid once again. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything. Because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. Once again, it's Cook, and it'll be a pickup of three, so third down, forthcoming. Cooper going in motion. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. 
10 yards the gain on the pitch and catch. First down, Buffalo. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. is Allen. He's got his tight end, QP. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Third down, three to go. We'll try and run here with Cook. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready. Stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. The key to great defensive line play is the get-off. When that ball moves, how fast can you get off the ball and get into the backfield? That's exactly what we saw here. Quick read, react, get off the block, take him down for a loss. So now it's Tyler Bass on in a big spot. This to make it a two-possession lead. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. Here's Bull on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. Throwing, Flacco. Finding the open man, that's Pittman. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Now the Colts will use the first of their timeouts. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. Now Flacco. To the left side, taken in by Down. Huge catch and roll. They finally get him down. But there's a flag. Not sure if this one's going to stand. Now, on second and long. Flacco to throw. That's caught inside by Pittman on the slack. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. 
just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Here's second down. They'll look to throw again. With the man getting field, it's Pittman. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Here's Flacco to throw. be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter it goes down as a loss of yards to play corner in this league mike you have to have great reactions and instincts in this case he trusts those instincts from the jump and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result he'll drop to throw they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete Really nice job with the protection up front. It just nobody could get open downfield. So it's a combination of your offensive weapons have to do a better job taking advantage of that time to work and separate. But also, how impressive is that by that defense to be able to cover for that amount of time? This is intercepted. Picked off by Rasul Douglas. And the Bills forced the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. you got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Here's first and ten. Allen down to an eight, and that should do it. Timeout, Indianapolis. That is their second, and they'll stop with 28 seconds to go in the game. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Allen down to an eight, and that should do it. The Colts will signal for their third and final timeout, and they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining on the clock. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. Victory formation here as he's down to an eight. So a road win here for the Bills. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.